I don't know too much about this. This is like, from what I know, a little bit more of a rare game. Uh, it's just something, one of those I bought a long time ago. I didn't spend a lot of more money for it or anything like that. Um, so, yes, but this game, essentially, the, the deal is, I think it was published by Irem, and it, uh, basically it's the mechanic from, I think, Mega Man, like, with Gravity Man, is that Mega Man 4, maybe Mega Man 5, where, um, you flip upside down and you walk on the ceilings and then flip back down, that kind of thing. So, it's gonna be cool. We're gonna get it going, and let's begin. Metal Store. I'm long overdue for this, by the way. I always think, like, this thing, you can pick it up with, like, Guts Man or something, but as far as I know, you can't do that. What's up, 77? You're always early. Always early. Hey, Justin Garber. You too, by the way. Hey, Nailman, as always. Hey, classic guy. This looks awesome. Yeah, well, Metal Storm. People have been requesting it for a long time. So, like I said, I was, I'm overdue to get to this one. You know. I guess I could just do this. Make my life easy. Why am I not at WrestleMania 35? Um, I don't... I don't know anything about wrestling. I wouldn't, didn't, like, get into it as a kid. So... So I can't... The, mo the most I know about wrestling is, um, Captain Lou Albano. Mario was, like, a wrestler. <laughs> like, literally. And, uh, like, Hulk Hogan was in, like, Rocky and Gremlins. That's about my, that's my wrestling knowledge for you right there. That's, that's about it. I don't think I can, I, I, I don't think I can tell you anything else. And it's not even about wrestling, it's just, and then they had those toys. I remember those, like, stretchy kind of toys of the characters. Some of my friends had those. I can't tell you anything else whatsoever. So you've now exhausted my wrestling knowledge. Shit. And, oh, and obviously he was in, uh, what's it called? Thunder in Paradise. There you go. That's everything. Sorry. I have nothing against wrestling or anything. I just never got into it. Stretch Armstrong? No, 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 no. There was, like, wrestling figures that I remember you guys that are into wrestling probably know what I'm talking about. Like, rubbery, like, Hulk Hogan's and Macho Man's and stuff like that. I just remember those. I didn't have any of them, but I had some friends that had that stuff. Is this game worth buying straight up? I really want it. Um, I, uh, uh, watch the stream. If you can't watch the whole thing right now, watch it later on YouTube. But uh, I, I, will attempt, I will try to determine that by the end of the stream. I've always heard it's really good. Um, I've never... Um, this, this is really going to be my first time playing it, actually. I mean, technically no. Like, I have played this before, but, I mean, for more than ten minutes, so. So basically, my first time playing it. I've never seen that, D-Rock. It's like an 80s movie or something, probably. R-type platformer, ha! <laughs> that's, that's a funny statement. I like that. Awesome game, but not worth the asking price now. Shit. How much does this? Uh, how much does this go for now? Thank you. Uh, watch this taken two. They've subscribed for four months. Thank you, Mike. Thanks for the content. Speaking of WWE, I met the Iron Sheik back in the '80s at a bagel shop signing. That says it all. Uh, I, I remember that name. That's as much as I can tell you. But I remember the name. I think I played, I played some of the wrestling at like NES games too. Um, 
I mean, there's like the really... I mean, I played... You know what? I played Wrestlemania. Um, and I think there's a tribute to that in... Like that Abobo one that I remember. Um... But there's another, there's another, what's the other, like, what are the, uh, what's the one with the masks? What's that wrestling game, you know what I'm talking about, that has, like, the fucking guys and the masks and shit? What's the name of that one? I played that, and I remember it, I don't remember it being very good, but maybe, I don't really remember. If that's even wrestling, I think it's wrestling. Tag team wrestling? Is that what it was, tag team wrestling? Yeah, so I played that. I get the analog Sega console yet? Um, sort of. Uh, I do have it here, but it's not mine. I, I borrowed it from Ryan. So it's here, I have it, but uh, it's not mine. So, sort of. I have it here. I haven't used it yet, or anything. Boom. In lots of Cindy Lopper videos. Yes, that I know. It would be mine, uh, Justine. No, actually, you know what? James and I live together. I, I'm 38 years old, but I live in I live in James' house, obviously. I, I think it's funny when people ask that. It's like, do do you live with James? <laughs> That's pretty funny. Um, I feel like people might think that because of Board James. How we did like a thing where it was like the character, motherfucker Mike, lived like next, you know, across the street or whatever. Or next door from Board James. Which makes, that, that makes sense, you know, that's why they would be playing board games together all the time. Because it's like, because you know, the show is supposed to like be like nostalgic of you know, playing board games with your friends when you're kids or whatever. Like, oh, the kid across the street or whatever. Let's see. Oh, I, well, I guess I guess I can't do that. Thank you, Torch5522, for the sub. This game's $150 now on average on eBay. That's a lot. What's up, games? Games and movies. So I just can't. Oh, oh. That's how that works. Thank you, Totally Radical Retro Gamer. That doesn't work. Hmm. Hmm. Is this like repeating? I don't even know. Huh. It's probably they probably want me to do something like that, don't they? You love the board game series? Very cool. Okay, that didn't get me anywhere. You play Transformers, Thundercats, and He-Man. Why? No, any love for G.I. Joe? I have G.I. Joe sitting over there. You, well, you know why? Because I didn't really watch G.I. Joe going, growing up, so it's not something that, like, I'm super nostalgic for, but I but I have played the NES game before. I played both of them, and the Atlantis Factor is the one that's, like, not good, but I have the, um, uh, what's it called? Um, I have the, like, G.I. Joe NES game, and I want to stream it. Because it's a good, because it's a good game, regardless of me not really being into um, GI Joe stuff. Will I play some ROM hacks one day? Well, I do that like fairly often. Shit, I have to memorize this, huh? The new Cal Arts Thundercats angers you? Yes, it's shit. I, 
feel like I'm gonna be, when that comes out, I'm gonna be forced into watching part of it, just to, like, hate watch it. How people watch me. You know. Let's see. Mm hmm Ooh. Fuck me. It's like this. Like that. Like that. Like that? Okay. There we go. It's gonna be like this. It's gonna be like this. Diddle it, diddle it. There we go. Am I like repeating myself here now? Oh, you can't do it twice, huh? Wonder if you can get an item to do it twice or something. Ah, shit. Thank you, Zaboof. Fucking oh, I have a little more health. No! They shoot at the little things. Mm. You watched Star Trek 3 the other day, made me laugh. What a duo, Christopher Lloyd and William Shatner. Yikes. <laughs> Yikes. That's a fuck that's a great movie. Um I remember I met um What is his name? Malcolm McDowell at a convention, and he killed Captain Kirk, um, and I asked him, I asked him, what was it like being one of the couple people to beat the shit out of Captain Kirk, or something like that, um, cause, cause before he, he kills him, they beat the shit out of each other, or whatever. And, and I, the way I meant, I mean, obviously it happened on the series. Oh, I think I said in the movies. And um, the other one I meant was like Christopher Lloyd. Thanks, Zaboof. Thank you, Able Waves. And thank you, TD78. Mike, you're going to run out of time. Oh, shit, I should be pausing this. Sorry if I'm going to talk. Thank you, actually. Box speaker. See? Somebody gets me started on Star Trek, and then it's all over. You know? I think the A is more energy. I think. I think. Let's see. Brain teasers. Oh my god, thank you. Thank you so much to uh, Anonymous. Anonymous? Uh, thank you to Anonymous for gifting subs. Um, you know what, Anonymous? I have something for you. This is my Twitch switch, and this is specifically for whoever Anonymous is who just uh, gift subbed. And we're gonna, uh, this, is, this is specifically for you, Anonymous. <laughs> Um, if you got a gift sub from Anonymous, please say thanks. And Webhead72190, that's a video game. JPC165, Zeph Till Death, and Lord Sunbaby. If you got a gift sub, say thanks to Anonymous, whoever that is. Back to the game. Thanks, Floor Tap. Alright, let's see. This thing's gonna fucking kill me. And that's how that's gonna go. There we go, okay. Boss, maybe?
I get close. That's the secret, guys. That's the secret. Come on, fire! Fire! That's the secret. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait. There's no time limit on this part. Bitch! No more! Love the new Patreon video. Thank you. You love Q? Appreciated the Anon. Yeah, whoever that was, thank you. It's funny when somebody anonymous gives subs, because it's kind of like, a lot of times I'll be like, say thank you to whoever, but it's like anonymous, so then you can't like, whatever. So thank you to the anonymous person. Wait, am I turning into like a fucking... Oh, I have a shield now? The hell did that happen? Oh. Sometimes it's like, it's blending out with the background a little bit. Oh my god. Shield just like last. Oh my god, these backgrounds. Um, a, a. So you can only get one of them, right? Yeah. They're only allowing one. I guess you gotta pick. I don't really know what's better or worse or whatever. So. Oh boy. Um. Oh, there we go. Huh. Oh, fuck. Oh, I'm not dead. I'm gonna be. Can I- I don't know. Can I just go through that shit? Oh, fuck! Damn it, this takes place on Pluto? Does it? I didn't know that. On Pluto? Oh, I'm Pluto! <laughs> Alright, I'm going for the P. Is that power? Is that... I don't know. Hello, guy! Maybe I have to go down the bottom. Oh, I do. I do. Does that trigger it? Oh, it does. Okay. Okay. So some of these things you can go through, and some of them you can't. And it's just, I guess it's just trial and error. What you can do. Mm. Oh, come on. I am Super Mario. Whoo! Try that shield still. Oh, okay. Oh, so that other thing was the extra, like, life. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, boy. Um. Is that just... I don't know what that... What the B... I gotta learn what these things are. I don't have the instruction manual on this one. Fuck, I'm gonna, okay, I think I know. Oh boy, um, oh like this. 
All right. Red alert. All hands to battle stations. Engage. Oh boy. Oh fuck. Fuck. Bitch. How many video games have I played? Well, you can go and count all my streams and then add it together with all my age and then divide it by pi. And then I, I don't know. 3.14. If I could answer the question, I would. Wait, what? I can't go through that? What the hell? Okay, so I just have to make a run for it with that? Fuck that. Fuck that noise. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, if anybody does know what the B does, or any of the letters, let me know. It seems like it would be a bomb, but... I don't know that such a thing exists in this. Oh! Jesus Christ. Alright. What? Fuck. I gotta figure out a good place to be here. B stands for bullshit. That's probably true. Hey, Ryan. Oh, you're live. Didn't get the notification. Nice to see you doing Metal Storm. Uh, yeah, Ryan Walker, uh, actually, you suggested this game. So, um, you didn't get the notification. Well, that's not good. See, he suggested me for me to play this, and he didn't get the notification. So, here's the thing. So, with notifications, let me pause for one second. I want to talk you about one thing so if you're if you happen to be watching this on your phone or even on desktop here's how you do this in fact go do this right now if you're on twitch because everybody asks me this like pretty often so go on twitch and on the main page uh in fact i'll even tell you where it is because i keep getting this question um it is if you go to i have to go to somebody else's thing do, 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 do. If Twitch wanted to work, that'd be awesome. Do, do. Okay, it's up top. There's a little crown I see, and then there's a little bell and stuff. So it's the bell. So if the bell has the strike through it, click it and make sure it does not have the strike. You want it to just be a bell. If you do that, and then you go into your like phone notifications and make sure that Twitch allows notifications. If you do those things, you shouldn't miss any um, streams or notifications. That's supposedly how it works. So go ahead and do that. Make sure you click the bell. It's like the same shit on YouTube too. Click the bell. How often do I check my Twitter or something like Game Boy thing? Um, I check my Twitter pretty often, but uh, I get a lot of messages on there, so I could, you know, overlook things sometimes. I 
don't want to go too much. How much have you missed of the stream? I've been going for 20 minutes. And I, I'm not good at this game because I haven't really played it much. Alright, let's... This guy is... I don't know what to do with this guy. There's probably like a really easy place to stand or something and I don't know what it is. Mm. Oh, fuck! I didn't... Oh, you duh, I'm an idiot. I know what to do now. I know what to do. Because that's how the game is played, Mike. Yes. Be awesome if you die. Fucking shit. Why is my avatar a pretzel? My avatar is a pretzel because I like it. <laughs> because uh, a lot of my Twitch is set up to be Pac-Man themed. So, it's one of the loyalty badges, I guess? Fuck! Thank you, Global Baker, very much. Body checking lasers? What does that mean? What's body checking lasers? You're watching the Mickey Mania stream when this went live? I didn't get quite through that game. I was just playing it for a long time, so I, I just had to stop. But I, I like that game. I like the animations and shit. I, I liked it more than I thought I would. I mean, it's, it's, it's got some problems. That fucking Haunted Mansion or whatever. Not Haunted Mansion. Lonesome Ghost level should have had a boss. It's one of my gripes with it. And the, the hitboxes are weird. But... It's a pretty good game. I would have probably loved it if I had it as a kid. If I would have had the Sega CD then. But I did not. body with the lasers, lasers to damage them? If I hit my body with the laser, I die, so I don't understand what you're talking about. Sometimes, but I got it. <laughs> hey, Pac Man Red. Weren't you in my Pac Man 256 streams? I think you were. There was something you were talking to me a lot in one stream. I can kind of remember what it was. Probably Pac Man 256. Oh my god, what is this? Thank you. 
Oh boy. Okay. <laughs> Doo doo. When new game room vid? Well, I just did a whole console video. Um, I do videos on my Patreon. If you get want to get like early access to some stuff. Uh, I just did a new thing on there. Actually, uh, speaking of the Mickey Mania thing, sort of, um, fuck, okay, I'm gonna have to get used to this one. I did, just did a video on, uh, the, the Sega CD setup with RGB and all that. So you can check that out. There we go. i do this quicker. I'm not try trying that. Ah, oh, fuck it, I guess I am. Ah, oh, well. I probably have to do this 50 times, so. I'm an idiot, I did. Okay. Don't do. Hey, thanks, Nikki Pod. Do, 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 do. How many of you guys had this game? Back when it came out, back, not, not how many, of, not, the question is not how many of you guys have it now, the question is how many of you guys had this game, like, as kids. There we go. You were sperm when this game came out? That's a good point. That is, but oh, he comes back. I thought that was fuck that. Fucking coming back, fucker. I don't like these coming back fuckers. They're not allowed to do that shit. Bitch. Oh boy. Oh oh ah uh, e ah. Uh, I get it. Okay. I didn't know. I didn't know. Fuck! Fuck Varts! This is better. Mm. Vanilla wafers. Vanilla wafers. I'm sorry, I'm crazy. Wait, is that the boss? That's not the boss, is it? Mmm. That's when you know I'm totally out of my mind when I just start... Random like sang vanilla wafers. Ooh. Shit. Oh, bitch. Do 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 Thank you, uh, Chardic. Oh shit, I shouldn't be looking for the big sub. Bum 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 bum. 
It's called Learn to Pause, Mike. He does, but I got it. Ha! Huh. Fuck. game give you unlimited continues? Um, I believe so. Seems to be. Seems to be. Ah! So what is the, what's the G in this game? Anybody that knows? Mm, get away from that. Crap. Gravity? Well, what does it do? C is Crusher that annihilates everything on screen. Um, but I got it in a place where there wasn't really much enemies. Wait, is there a way to use th that shit? Is there a way to use that gravity thing? Like, is there a menu or something where I can find items? Gravity fireball. Like, I'm not, when I get shit, I'm not really seeing any way to I feel like there's something I don't know about this game. <laughs> I'm gonna hit both buttons at once, maybe. Let's see what happens. They're all listening to the manual. I don't have the manual. I only have the cart. Thing, you brick old brink. Emote. So one of those things is when I turn into like a fireball, which I guess I don't have right now, but I have it. I guess it's gone. Thank you, Skeletank. For continuing the gift sub. Slow down. Metal Storm rules. This is the hardest NES game, in my opinion, especially if you go for loops. Really? I didn't. Re I didn't know that this game was hard. I was not. Uh, I was not aware that this was going to be hard. I figured it was going to be like an average thing, so this is going to be hard. Uh, it's going to be hard. Shit. You usually get to the second stage and then you're, then you're done. Fucking shit. Well, this boss is annoying, so maybe you're right. Loop 2 is hard. Oh, he's, see, he's talking about the second loop of the game. 
So it killed the enemies on screen there, but there's one enemy on screen. So it's like, why? Fuck! Why have that there? I'm just like, this game gives you no opportunity to hit your base. Can't be doing that. Just kill me. Kill me. Oh wait, I got the... How did I get that? Wait, what happened to my shield? I don't understand. The shield lasts, lasts for like two seconds. On the other stage, the shield lasts at like half the level. I think only 20 people in the world would have done it. 20 people in the world would have done telling you guys, setting up your lives to one on Mania in Streets of Rage and beating it without continues. Oh, in Streets of Rage, okay. Attention. Okay, so you know what it is? It's just, it switches it. So if I get a different letter, it's not that I'm getting multiple things, it's switching. So it's, it's pick what you like. That's what this is. So I should fucking pick the... Or no, no I shouldn't. I should pick the fucking... I know what I should pick. I should pick the other gun, because it goes through shit. That's definitely what I should pick. See, I like this because it goes through shit. I bet you this gun's like a little weaker, but... I think it goes through shit, though.
God damn it. How much did I pick this game up for? I don't know. I got it like fucking 20 years ago. So I couldn't tell you. Probably like 10 bucks. In like 2004. You know? Probably less than that. Whatever it cost in like 2004, that's probably what I paid. Is there a way to do that? Is there a way to look up how much shit was, like, back then? Well, there's, like, price guides on this shit, right? Somebody have one of those, like, an NES price guide from, like, 2004? How much did this game go for then, like, on... Like, maybe like, eBay or something? Definitely like one of those games where you can memorize everything. It's probably like I bet this is a good game for like people who do speedrun shit. According to one website, in 2008, a loose cart was like $20. Okay, what was it in like 2003, 2004? That's when I was buying a lot of games. Fucking shit! We can assume it was less expensive than... So it's probably right, it's probably like 10 bucks or something. And then, fuck! Just kill me. And then I would find shit, you know, probably cheaper than that. Go to like a fucking flea market or like a store or something. Back in 2004. And then people are, you know, half price or whatever. It's probably like... I got this game for $5. Back then, like... Nobody... See, that's the thing, like... I don't want to say nobody, but, like, barely anybody gave a shit about, like, NES games. At that point, now it's, like, now it's become, like, a collector's thing. It's, like, see, it's, like... The thing about NES in, like, around that period, it's, like... Do you know how... Like, what's something right now nobody really cares about? Because, like... It would probably be something that came out, like, several years ago. Like, are people, like, really collecting Wii shit at this point? Um, what's something that came after? How about Wii U? Maybe Wii U games? I bet there's probably not a people... I mean, maybe certain games, but, like, random, like, Wii U games, I bet people... That's probably, like, not many people care, right? Would that be right? It was kind of like that at that point. It was like nobody really cared yet because it wasn't really old enough. And that might not be the best example, but you probably get the point. PSP games are cheap right now. Okay. Shovelware that nobody cared about. Yeah. See, the thing was, it wasn't like, it didn't get to the point where it was like old enough yet. It was like, that was a few years like later. There was probably, a, a you know, probably when YouTube came out is probably when people started to, like, relive their nostalgia of all this stuff, and, like, it started to, like, come back. That had already happened to me in, like, you know, 2000, 2001, 2002. Like, I was already doing that, and I think more people started doing that, like, a little bit later. Which is why I was, I was buying them really early. Because it's like, this, these are the games I've always, like, really been into anyway. You know? 
fuck. Nobody cares about magazines. Well, that's not entirely true. But yeah, a lot of times a game convention. I mean, it's like, if it's like a fucking, like, I don't know, like a mi like middle of the run, like N64, or like your like Nintendo Power, like yeah, it's gonna be like, nobody's gonna give a shit really. But like, early issues of like some of these magazines, people care about, fuck! Like an early electronic gaming monthly or something, like that'll go for money. So that's not entirely true. And also, if people are like nostalgic over a certain issue, you know, they might want it. Oh my god. I hate this boss. Maybe I should be using like a different item or something. Fucking no. Alright, kill me. I want the two hits when I get to the boss. Yes, BJ. What's my favorite video game movie and why? Uh, are there any good ones? I can't think of any that are good off the top of my head. Um, there's probably something. Um, mm, nothing's coming to mind. I haven't even seen a bunch of them. Like, I don't care. Like, I remember being at my mall and seeing the poster for that Super Mario Brothers movie, and it was just like... It didn't look like Mario and Luigi. It was live action. Like... It's, like, not what I wanted at all. Like, I would have liked an animated, like, Mario Brothers movie or something. Like, there was no, like, fucking Bowser. It was, like, it wasn't at all what I wanted it to be. So I didn't, I never went and saw it or anything, because I just, I didn't care. I wasn't super into Mortal Kombat. Like, I played it some, uh, so I didn't go and see that. I didn't really care. I, I, liked, I liked playing the games, and I didn't really care about the movies. I didn't see the Double Dragon movie. I'm trying to, the, only, the only one I can think that I saw was The Wizard. I saw The Wizard in the th theater, and I fucking hated it. Um, maybe that's why I didn't see any more video game movies. Um, I probably saw something, though. There's, there's probably something else I saw. I fucking hate this boss. Double Dragon movie? No, I've never seen that movie to this day. Doom? I've never seen it, actually. Well, that's not true. I've seen. Well, I've seen some of. I've seen some of that Doom movie, and it's. I can't watch it. It's like awful. I just can't. can't. I. It's, I probably saw like a few scenes from it or something. I was like, well, not watching this. You know, it's, it's like nothing like the fucking game, like at all. Like it's just awful. So I didn't watch that. I don't, I don't think... I probably, like, haven't seen a lot of these movies. I, the thing is, I've seen, like, clips and things of these movies, and I'm like, well, I'm not gonna spend two hours of my life watching it because it's obviously awful. You know? I have much more tolerance for playing bad games than I do watching bad movies. You know? Warcraft or Tomb Ra Raider or Wrecked Ralph? Nope, I've never seen any of those. I have no desire to. I haven't really played the Tomb Raider games. Wrecked Ralph looked lame, like the comedy. I saw the trailers and stuff, and I'm like, okay, ha ha, like this is like awful. And what was the other one? Um, Warcraft. I mean, I liked Warcraft too, but like I have no real interest in seeing the movie. It just looked like. Didn't that movie bomb too? By the way. Yeah, I have no interest in that, honestly. E.T. <laughs> well, that doesn't count. It can't be... It can't be a movie first. We're talking about a video game movie. Damn it, I hate this boss so much. 
No, Warcraft didn't bomb. I thought it did. I mean, you would you probably know more than me, so. I thought I had heard that it bombed. Oh, so wait, so if it didn't bomb, are they making a, fuck, are they making another one of those? You know what? Uh, oh, it bombed in the US. Oh, well, there you go. That's probably what I had heard. But didn't another one, a really bad one come out at the same time as that movie? There was, um, was it, was there Ratchet and Clank or something like that that came out at the same time? Or, um, some kind of shitty video game movie that came out and, and bombed really hard. I don't know if it was that. I don't even know if there's a movie of that, but something like that. Something's two characters, like, um, like PlayStation era crap, um, movie. Do you know what I'm talking about? Not Pixels. Not Pixels. There was something around the time of that Warcraft movie, and it was like a, I want to say it was like a animated, or like maybe live action animated. Does anybody know what I'm talking about? Nobody knows what I'm talking about. Not, no, not Ready Player One. All, yeah, 2016. Yeah, it had to be, yes. That must be what we're talking about. So, there, so yeah, there was a shitty Ratchet and Clank movie. Um, it's like, I know some people say that the Silent Hill one is good, but like, I didn't play Silent Hill. So, like, it's not something that I care to go see, really. Because I wasn't, like, into that. So I haven't seen that, so probably the only good ones is stuff that, like, franchises I wasn't really into, you know? And not for any reason, just because I didn't play them. this one. So even, wait a second. So even if I have the, um, the, oh, I know I don't have the double hit then. What am I talking about? Never mind. Hate this. I'm gonna try a different weapon or something, because maybe this thing is just not fucking strong enough. Let's try this thing, I guess. I'm, I'm gonna hope that this is like a stronger gun. Doesn't seem like it is. Oh wait, no, this isn't a gun, I have this fucking thing. What, I want, what does this exactly do? Let's see. Can I go through motherfuckers with that? Yeah, I can. So hang on, that might be good. This is probably another one of these, like, I need to know what to have. I'm gonna try this on it. This might help me. It's probably the problem. I probably don't have the right shit. Oh. You guys tired of that music yet? Alright, I'm gonna try this. Fuck! Oh, I'm not dead. Definitely helping. Yeah, that's what I needed. That's why it was so hard. Because I didn't have that fucking weapon. It's called knowing what to use. So that's the first time I did that. Alright. How many levels are there in this? I wish I would have known to use that fucking weapon. Hmm. Somebody in the chat was probably screaming at me. 
I'm sure. Sorry to whoever was doing that. I didn't see anybody say it, but I'm sure there was somebody. Probably multiple people. Oh shit, what do I do now? That. That. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Bitch! Oh wait, it doesn't kill it? What? I went through the other one and it killed it. What the fuck? See? I don't get it. I guess I'm not doing that again. Do, do, do. I'm on five out of seven. Okay. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. What? Alright, I'm gonna stop doing that. Because it's like, sometimes, do I even have it? Oh wait, I don't have it anymore. That's why. Shit. away from me. That's the problem. Why, Daniel, did I die? I wasn't even looking at the screen. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. Doing the last Big 20 casually. I've heard of that before, Big 20. That's, uh, there's a video game tournament or something. Big 20, wait. Give me a second. We were talking. Oh, wait, 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 wait. There's a thing coming. Fuck. Did I ever finish Goonies 2? I did. Go check out the video. It's on uh, my channel. I did finish it. I didn't know there was this laser coming behind me, by the way. Um, it's a Twitch thing, I think. Speedrunning. Whatever. I don't. Fuck! I don't fuck, 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 Thank you, Bramble Scram. Any chance I would go back to Super Monkey Ball? You got me into the series with all the streams of GameCube. So, Bramble Scram, yes, uh, definitely, but, so here's what happened, so, um, my, so, um, tell you what, I, I actually want to tell you about that. Okay, Bramble Scram, this is for you, um, so, you guys can hear me, right? I switched to another thing, so, uh, okay, so he asked me what's up with Super Monkey Ball, because I had been streaming that. And then I stopped, and I, I didn't want to stop streaming it, but I stopped for the, just for the moment, because, okay, look at this. So this is the GameCube I was using, and you'll see it has these two things on it. This is a ba basically, this is going to be a very simple explanation. So, this is the um, sort of adapter for uh, RGB SCART to GameCube. It's called the Eon and then MK2. So you put that into here, right? Like so. Right? That's how I'm doing the RGB. But, 
this GameCube started, the disc started spinning and whatnot, and it was like getting annoying. And then I think the game was quitting on me here and there, so yeah, it was getting annoying. So I'm like, okay, I'll get another GameCube out. So I got my other GameCube out, except here's the problem. This GameCube only is a different model and only has the one port. So that's why I'm not right now. Um, so I got another GameCube on the way. So when I get the other GameCube, when I get my third GameCube, then I will, then I will do that. See the things I go through to entertain you all? Do you see? Do you see what I do for you all? We should, do, I, I think you, we should all celebrate what I do for you. And to celebrate, we're gonna flip the Twitch switch. Ha 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 ha. All right. Back to Metal Storm. I'm an idiot. This fucking level. Oh, you can do that. I didn't know you can get over the edge like that. Oh, wait, 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 what am I doing? Somebody er oh! Somebody earlier in the stream called this game a side-scrolling R-type. I thought that was great. Uh, I don't really, Kuzik. I've watched a little bit, but not much. Was that Quentin Tarantino playing the trumpet? That was John Delancey. Fucking... That was... The, the great John Delancey. Thank you. One second. Thank you, uh, Ganny Man Swift for the sub. Star Trek The Next Generation is weird sometimes. It's awesome. Star Trek the original series is weird. Fucking shit. The other, fuck, some of the other series. Well, you know what? Deep Space Nine is fucking weird sometimes. Are you kidding me? They're all fucking weird. Voyager got weird shit. All, they all, all got weird shit. What, what am I doing? I, walk, I literally walked right into it. I'm like not paying attention. The, the biggest problem with this stream of this game so far is like, I'm like out of it. I'm like not paying attention to the game very well. Sorry. I'm just like, I'm like, blah, today. Is that a good explanation? There we go. I like these backgrounds a lot. Isn't that like the way they move and shit? No parallax scrolling! <laughs> I'm so sorry. Not really. Did you know about parallax scrolling? Ooh. I don't even know if that's fucking parallax scrolling. It might be something else. Ooh, it's some C. Look at some C. <laughs> and some S. Take a little S. I don't know what the S even is. Oh, it's the shield. Durr. I'm so smart, alright? What's the S stand for? <laughs> um, it's for shield. Uh, it's for shit. <sighs> You're for shit. S for shit, see? Somebody in the chat said it. B. B for BAM! Oh god, what's happening? Oh my god. Um. Wait, I don't know. Wait, 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 wait. Ah, uh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, oh, I can. Okay, okay, okay. 
Oh god, oh my god. Fuck! Jill should be B for barrier. Barrier. It could be. That would make sense. Sort of. That'd be alright. Wasn't there a thing there before? What the fuck? Shit the fuck. Shit the bed. Ah. Barrier. Where, where is that even? I don't know. Oh, it's from coming from those guys. Mm. Mm. Oh, fuck. I don't like them. I don't like it. I don't like them! I need to have something that shoots through. I don't even know. Fuck those. Like, I'm just going. It's like when it hits the edge of the screen, it decides it's gonna do that. Okay, this part... What? Can I do this? Like, ah, see, I can't shoot down. Do that, though. Okay, better. Hmm. So I gotta sh Okay, alright. Alright, I'll get it. I'll get it! Star Trek The Next Generation, The Final Unity, is the best overall Star Trek games. I had that on a PC. In fact, do I still have that? I might actually have that still. Um, or is that Starfleet Academy? I had, had all that shit back then. Um, but yeah, that used the uh, actual voice actors. So what I want to do is... I want to interview the entire cast of Star Trek The Next Generation and ask them only questions about Star Trek The Final Unity and see what they have to say. I've seen Marina Sirtis before talking about uh, voice acting in video games. And I, you know what I have to say about her? I like her honesty. She's like, she's like, it's, it's horrible. You only do it for money. <laughs> Whatever, she's like so honest. She's like, you don't act with other people. Acting's all about acting with other people. You're in a you're in a booth alone recording lines or whatever. <laughs> and she probably shouldn't be saying that shit, but it's like like if she wants to get more voice acting work, but at the same time, nobody gives a shit if if she has that opinion. You know? They'll be like, yep, yeah, she was fucking Deanna Troy, let's get her as a voice actor. What, she doesn't like voice acting, but she'll do it? Fine. Like, who cares? It's 2019. Nothing matters anymore. You know? There we go. Bitch. There we are. Oh, boy. One more. What has she voice acted? Uh, didn't she do some voices in Gargoyles and some video games? 
I, don't, I think not just Star Trek ones. I think she did some other ones. She actually, didn't she do like something like big, like fucking Destiny or something like that, actually? Like, I'm not even kidding. I forget what the game is. Like, it's probably not that, but it's like, she did some pretty big game. Maybe somebody can look it up and tell me like what it was. But no, like, really, she did. You fuck. I could look it up if you guys don't want to. I'll, I'll get through this level. A recording booth is like the inner sanctum of your mind. Your thoughts reverberating through the microphone for all to hear. Yes. My thoughts about Bart Simpson. I have thoughts about Bart Simpson because I just bought... See, I was told that the Bart Simpson that I just bought is the first Simpsons toy. And I'm wondering if the seller was telling me the truth or just trying to make me happy. I'm not going to show you guys the toy. But I bought a Bart Simpson toy. Simpsons toy. And I want somebody to go and find out if you can do this during the stream. Find out what was the first Simpsons toy with some kind of proof. And then let me know in the chat. And then... I want to see because if I show it, some people will just be like, "Oh, it's the that's that's it or whatever." But if somebody can find out what the first Simpsons toy is and then say it, we'll see if it's the same thing. Anyway, this is this is my recording booth thought, thoughts as I go. If I was alone with my own inner thoughts, it would be all about Bart Simpson apparently. So, hmm. eat my shorts. Longer than I should have. Motherfucker! If this thing comes. Jesus! XCOM 2? Wait, she did a voice in XCOM 2, War of the Chosen? It wasn't that. There was something else. Okay, somebody just said, first toy is a Bart blowing radioactive man figure. He was, so Bart Simpson giving head to Radioactive Man is the first. Yes, thank you for that. That's good. She was in Mass Effect. Mass Effect, that's it. That's the one. Somebody said, what was it like doing a voice in Mass Effect? And she said, Mass Effect? What's Mass Effect? I didn't do a voice for Mass Effect. And they're like, yes you did. And she's like, I did? I didn't know I did a voice in Mass Effect, <laughs> you know? And she's like, oh yeah, I remember that. You know why? Because blah, 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 blah. And then she said all the things that I just said before. I've seen her talk about that a few times, actually. I, I actually, by the way, I met Marina Sardis uh, at Schiller. God, probably, I don't know, five years ago or something? And she was cool. She's, she was really funny, actually. Fucking hell. went for that you heard see no Brent Spiner it was great see let's see somebody in the chat just said that 
See, he's got that reputation of not, not being very nice at con conventions. And that's not the experience I had at all. I thought he was great. He was funny. He was nice enough to, like, talk to me for a while. So, see, I brought... So, and somebody will be like, oh, that's only because you did an interview or whatever. Well, so, th see, that's not true. He had no idea who I was at all. I'm just, like, the regular Star Trek fan, right? So he has a table set up with some people in line. So I get into line, and I had a... Uh, CD of his, a music CD. So I waited in the line for a few minutes, and then I, you know, I talked to him, and I put that CD down, and then he talked to me, like, literally for, like, 15 minutes or something um, about music and the CDs he's working on and stuff, and he was great. And then after that, I was like, okay, he seems, like, real nice. I'll, a I'll ask him to do, like, an interview thing, because I just had my phone. Um... And then he's like, yeah, sure, and he, he like, did it, and he was, re he was really nice, and he was funny and stuff, so... I don't know what other people's experiences have been, and I've heard that before, but, um... I, I had a great experience with him. So... So I don't know what people... See, I don't know what people are talking about. You know what the other thing is? Like, sometimes you can catch somebody on a bad day. Don't catch me on a bad day. You, the problem with that is that's every day. God damn it, fuckers! See what I mean? Especially when I'm playing these games. Mm. Boom. Try this again. <sighs> okay, wait. So somebody else said the earliest Bart Simpson action figure I could, I could is a. No, 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 no. Okay, so maybe I said this wrong. I'm not talking about the earliest Bart Simpson figure. I'm talking about the earliest Simpson toy. The earliest Simpsons toy. That's what the guy said to me. Phone interview st story? What? F oh! It no, see, it's a video, but I recorded it on cell phone, Turbo Graphics. I was talking about Brent Spiner, Spiner from Star Trek. purple lines. Only look at the purple lines. That's what I'm telling myself right now. The fact that they fucking turn, though, is the problem. Fucking scum! What didn't I like about GI Joe? Um, I was just—I've never was into army anything. Like, like I like war movies and like army. I mean, I liked a little bit of Full Metal Jacket and stuff, but like, just anything like war, army, any of that. This I didn't—I wasn't into it. Uh, and you know another thing, honestly, I was never really into dinosaurs. Like, Jurassic Park, I thought it was pretty good or whatever, but it wasn't like... Th like, some people get like really, really into like that, but I was like... I saw it in the theater, I thought it was good, and then that was like the end of it. So, you know. 
There's some things I just didn't get really that into. I was really into Ninja Turtles, I can tell you that. And what else was I really into? There's, you know, the stuff that you get into and the stuff that you don't. Fucking, I loved Ninja Turtles. That, that's what I was into. So not so much like G.I. Joe. Fucking shit! And, um, oh wait, I'm not dead. And, uh, He-Man, I was really into. Kieran said Jurassic Park 3 was the best. That he, I mean, I don't know. Like, I, I'm not even, I'm not an authority to talk about what is good about Jurassic Park and what isn't. So, like, it's just never a franchise that I really, um, got that into. I don't, see, I don't think I've even seen all, all those movies. I think I saw the second one. Is the second one, there was one where, that, that I thought was actually really bad. And I like the first movie, but, um, the, um, you, you guys can tell me what it is. Because I haven't even seen them all. There was one where they take the... I, I think it was one of the Jurassic Park movies. They take the dinosaur and they put it like in a ship. And they, I think they bring it to New York City or something. I thought it was really fucking stupid. What one is that? That was two? Okay. I, I thought that... I saw that one on TV and I thought it was really fucking stupid. So, I don't know. You know? So I wasn't into, I was, I just not really into those movies. I, th I think that, like, you know what else about those movies? Like, I, I didn't like the actors, really. I don't like, I didn't like the, especially the kid actors. Like, that, those two kids, like, annoyed the shit out of me. Like, I couldn't stand them. That was probably one of the reasons why I didn't really like that movie that much. Like, they were really, to me, they were really fucking annoying. Like, I couldn't, I couldn't stand that. If they had different actors playing... You know what? If they would have recast that movie, I probably would have liked it a lot better. But then again, I'm also not that into dinosaur shit, so... It's just probably just a lost cause. Frankly. For me. I love Batman, though. <laughs> the 1989. Let's talk about movies that I did like. Did I see the original Lost World from 1928? I think I did at one point. A long time ago. What about TGIF dinosaurs? <laughs> I probably, I watched more of that. See, that show is stupid as shit, but like, I don't know, I watched it, you know? Yaki Mama! Fucking goddamn. Fucker. He had his own song too. I'm the baby, gotta love me. It's so bad. That show it was. I don't know. I can't decide if I love that show or I hate that show. I really can't. Like there was like shit that I thought was really fucking funny on that show, but um, the baby annoyed the shit out of me. But um, but the, like sometimes that show was actually really funny, and then other times it was the most fucking annoying thing ever. So I, I'm still undecided on whether or not I like dinosaurs. I love the fact that the last episode they all fucking like die. I think <laughs> I think that's funny. Um, I love. There was the episodes that had the fucking grandmother in it, and I remember she was actually really funny and shit. So I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that show. But you see, like that's not like the thing about that is that's not really. That's more of like a funny like sitcom thing with like animatronics how I think of that I don't really think of that as like being into dinosaurs you know what I mean like kids that are into dinosaurs like it's not because it's not because you're watching fucking dinosaurs on TGIF fucking shit I was actually doing all right that time shit fuck fuck shit fuck shit fuck um damn it I thought I had it um now nah, I totally forget what I was talking about. Now I'm annoyed I lost that. It was literally just a sitcom with puppets. Yeah, exactly. It's not like, you can't really count that as like, oh, I'm into dinosaurs because I watch <laughs> like the 
<laughs> fucking dinosaur, like... Theodore Rex with Whoopi Goldberg. Oh, yeah, now there's a good... There, there's a good dinosaur movie. That's the only one you need, clearly. Dinosaurs suck dick for coke. Mmm. Yeah. What's that, uh, Bob, what was that movie? With Bob Saget. Um... I've seen that. That was pretty funny. At least that part was funny. It's like, what do you... You know what? That See, that's Bob Saget being Bob Saget. Um, Half-Baked. That's Bob Saget being, like, real Bob Saget. You know? And it, see, and that line was so funny coming to him, coming from him at the time, because, you know, you knew him from Full House and shit. And most people, at that point especially, didn't know that he was, like, a fucking filthy stand-up comedian. So you saw that then, and you're like, oh, wait a second, this is the guy from America's Funniest Home Videos and the dad on Full House. And he's like, I fucking suck dick for coke. And you're like, wait, what? <laughs> you know? So, Bob Saget's actually pretty funny. It's really weird. It's actually, his, like, shit, it's really, really, really weird. He got mixed up in, like, kind of the wrong shit for him. I mean, it worked out, obviously, for him, but it's, like, what he, like, the shows he did, like, I feel like weren't really what, what you would expect him to do. I wonder, did he, does anybody know if he did stand-up once when Full House was on? Tell me. Bart versus the Space Mutant should be a priority. I, I've done, that I've done that. Um, that I've done. I mean, I could do it again. That, that I owned growing up. And I know that game fairly well. Just the, the, you know, the, the part of that game that sometimes I can't get by is, I mean, I've gotten by it, but it's, in your, when you're in the museum, and you get through the mu you're going through the museum, and then you get to a section where you're going over, like, dinosaur bones and shit, and then there's a couple jumps with, like, I think there's, like, pterodactyls or seagulls or something fucking coming at you, some birds. It's, like, it's really ridiculous. But the rest of the game, like, I mean, like, I know people talk about, like, the mall, like, but I, like, I can, I can, I can do the first three stages, like, not really any problem. Um, I mean, you know, I mean, they're a little bit hard, like, the, the mall can be a little bit of a bitch to, like, jump on the lollipops and whatever, but... Um, that doesn't intimidate me. It's not until you get to the museum that it, fucking god damn it that it starts to intimidate me a bit. And not all, just like certain parts of that fucking museum. I I, I, I don't like that part. But even the last stage, um, you know what? And I made a map. God, I wonder what happened to that map. I made a fucking map of that last stage. I don't know if I can have it anymore. Oh, you know what? I think I tweeted it or something, though. But I had a map of that last stage. Uh, that I made myself. And then, you know what? I think after that, somebody told me there was, there was a map in some magazine or something. I didn't have the magazine. If anybody knows what, what that Bart vs. Simpsons nuclear power plant map in the magazine was... I mean, I don't necessarily need the map, but I kind of, fuck, I kind of need it. I guess I don't, well, you know what, if I made a map, if I had, if I had to make a map, then, then I probably need a map. And you're going up and down elevators, shit, and, uh, you're collecting the little nuclear rod, nuclear rod things, like these little, yeah, I mean, that's what they are. Like, in the beginning of The Simpsons, um, cartoon, when they go to the, you know, the whole fucking beginning where the, it's like, and, you know, starts at the power plant, and, you, you know what I'm talking about. I'm not gonna try to explain it anymore. Anyway, so you're collecting those things. And, um, you know, people talk, if people, like, don't like that game, I, I don't dislike that game. I mean, there's things about it that, that bother me, but, like, you know, like a lot of things. But, like, yeah, it's not a game that I really dislike. I wish I wouldn't have lost that one. 
See, if I could have got here with that extra hit, this would be more doable. Well, I'm, I am curious of what these other levels after this are going to be like if I make it. Fuck! Okay, this is the part. Fucking talk about the slowdown. Anybody? Fuck! It's the laser beams. It's the fucking purple ones. What are we talking about? About beeping? What beeping? Purple fruit? What? This is disappointingly hard to find out on the internet, but from what I can find, this is the earliest Bart Simpsons toy. The one I have? Okay, well maybe he was telling the truth. How does that guy know if it's if the internet is like you can't even find out on the whole internet? He knows. He just knows. Motherfucker with that. Yeah, that that's what happens to me like every fucking time I keep forgetting. He wanted money. Yeah, you know what though? He told me that after I bought it. So I don't know about that. It wasn't like he was like, oh, this is the first Simpsons toy. So you need to have it. That's not what it was. He's, he said, I bought it, and then as I was walking away, he's like, ah, it's the first Simpsons toy. That's what, it, that's what really happened. So, I had already bought it. Alright. Ah, oh, that changes it then. Yeah, exactly. And we got some other stuff. We got a McDonald's lunchbox, which is actually really fucking cool. And can we get anything else? I saw, you know what I saw? I didn't get it, but I saw the, I think it was for NES. It was like an NES steering wheel. Oh, wait until you guys see what I fucking got. I totally forgot to tell you this. So I, I I'll just tell you, I got the Sega Saturn um, steering wheel, and I got, uh, I think I can see him from here, I got this, mm, what are they called? Oh, I got Duke Nukem 3D on Saturn, and I got, uh, is it like Rally X or something? I got a I got some, um, uh, dr basically I got some driving games for Saturn, so I'm gonna do some steering wheel Saturn games on stream, and then, uh, so, see, I want to try them on stream, because, like, if I think they're anything decent... SHIT! If I think it's anything, like, do usable or whatever, maybe we could do that for James and Mike Mondays. I don't know if James would be interested in doing, like, Saturn steering wheel shit, but I thought it'd be something different, you know? Maybe. But I want to stream it first and see if it's, like... Hang on a second. We just got a gift sub... From Ryan Walker one, uh, Ryan w Walker one, tell you what, you're gonna get a little Twitch switch. <laughs> Let's see, we got subs two. Let Lether Biko Tacos something K Monkey five Shrek Shrek Strider X ninety two. Boulevard Gaming 8380, Nintendrix, Nick Funson, Samanthos82, Def1787, and Justin DZ. If you guys got a gift sub, please say thank you to Ryan Walker. Appreciate that very much, by the way. Thank you. No more. 
Will you put your hands in mine? Something like that. <laughs> Little Spanish ditty by uh, Q. The Omnipotent. Fuck. What was that episode? Wonder what that. Q who? No, it wasn't Q who. Hmm. Maybe it was Cupid. I don't think that was the episode either. Doesn't he go off with Bosch at the end of that or something? Or is that a different one? What's the one where he's got the trumpet? Anybody know the name of that episode? Somebody's gonna know. I know my TOS episode names better than I do T TNG, so... So what can I say? Somebody knows it. Deja Q. Deja Q. There you go. Thank you. I what it I didn't hit that. What? I hit the like the gravity thing by accident. <sighs> there should be a super villain villain named Omnipotus. Daytona USA Sega Rally outrun on Sega Saturn. Uh, yeah, honestly, I think you got them. Uh, yes, Daytona USA Sega Rally. Is it Sega Rally like X something or other? Championship something? An outrun? I don't know if I got outrun. I, it's like slightly out of sight that I can't see it. Um, I don't want to break to see it, but yeah, I got a couple. Daytona, see I haven't played them yet. The Daytona one looks like it might actually be really good. And then there's another one. Uh, there's another driving game that I don't have that I want to get. Maybe I'll wait until I get that one to do it. I can't think of the name of it off the top of my head. But there's another Saturn driving fucking shit game that I want to get. Ugh, I can never fucking get to it. You know what? Just fucking kill me. Sa Sega Rally is the best of them? Okay, I think I have that one. I think. I'm pretty sure I bought that. I mean, I might be mistaken, but... Alright, I have to make it there. And not get hit. Guess I shouldn't have stopped and shot him. Okay. See, I thought, okay, I'll stop and shoot the guy, and then... Then I won't, you know... Thank you, Cammy Yay, for this tier one sub. Thank you very much. There's only three tracks in this game, but they're awesome. Yeah, I guess that's actually kind of true, huh? There we go. You have to know exactly. Well, this is good practice. Maybe if I play this enough, I'll be able to remember all this. If you are, you know, you know, if you just joining, I said earlier, but this is my first time really playing this any, at any point in depth. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to beat this, considering this is my first time really playing it. I did try it out once. And I was like, ooh, this is cool. But then I just never really came back to it. There's a lot of fucking NES games, you know? And a lot of video games in general. So, that's why it's nice to stream a lot. So I can play all these fucking games. There's just a lot of video games, you know? Isn't it amazing? I, I you know, I got the NES in, what, 1986 or something? And then... 1987, whatever it was. God damn it. And it's now 2019, and I still have not <laughs> played thoroughly every game.
You would sub if you had a computer? Uh, can you not do it on the phone? I don't know. I don't know. Really, it's pattern recognition. Once you use them, you blow through the game. No, I know. It's like if you play Castlevania or Mega Man or whatever. Once you learn it. But I'm learning it. I'm slow at pattern recognition. But once I get it, then I'm usually pretty good. You know? Thanks, Doomgaze. I was about to say, like, good thing there's no time limit, but it's like, there is a time limit. But I feel like they give you plenty of time in this, like, it's never been a problem, at least yet. Thanks, Burritor, for this, uh, Twitch Prime. Thank you very much. F I keep forgetting about that one! <sighs> you should be able to sub on the app if you cannot go to the Twitch desktop. Yeah, I don't know. So, yeah, some people say you can. That I do not know. There. All right. Okay. I have to remember that one that always fucks me up. Where is it? Is it this? This is probably it, right? Yeah, it is. Fucker, I remember this time. Alright, look at me, I actually fucking remembered. Let's be careful. So I should have two hits doing this. Alright, I really have to. saying they don't like that laser beam sound effect, that's what they were talking about. That dot 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 whatever. Well, that's what it is, so deal with it. <laughs> How do you like that answer? Deal with it. That's what the game is. The fuck do you want me to do? <laughs> That's not where I wanted it to happen. I was hoping for the next section, because I've made it past this. But I mean, I'm still alive. That's the thing that's gonna help me. I mean, if I don't do it here, like, getting to this with that, I'm getting better at getting there with it, so, I mean. See, if I would've made it to there with it. Maybe I'll do it without it. Wouldn't that be nice? Huh? <laughs> Wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? Fuck. I should just go and play with my Bart Simpson toy. <laughs> Cause it's about as well as this is going. Let me talk to you guys for a second. You got this mic? Yeah, apparently not yet. Sega Marine Fishing is pure arcade style fun. 
Mike. Mike does not got this. You are right. I do not. Still not as bad as Zevius. Yeah, how's that? I haven't really played much of that one either. A physical release of Cuphead on all systems. You have Turbo Pad. Mm mm. Wait, Turbo Pad. I don't think so. All right. Just make a stream with me playing with the bar toy. I, I tell you what, if I can get, hmm, how much would that be worth it to me? How many subs would I have to get to do a whole Bart Simpson to toy stream? Hmm, a lot. What the fuck would I do on that stream? Fucking whole bar Simpson in front of the fucking camera. <laughs> like, that would get weird. Yeah, it would get weird. Tell you, I'll tell you what. If I get 500 subs between now and the end of the stream, I'll do it. I'll do an entire me playing with Bart Simpson action figure stream for an hour. How about that? something I really would like to not have happen, so please don't. There's gonna be one guy who's gonna be like, fuck you, and do it, and then I have to sit here and play with Barsoms and action figures. Please don't. Start a ventriloquist carrier with your bar toy. But, but not even 500 people are watching. It doesn't matter, because you can do community gift subs. Thank you, Rosemary! How many people are watching this stupid stream? 350, though. Thanks to all you guys who are in here. I'm, I'm glad that you came by to watch me suck at this game. It's so fun. See, I've said before, you know, it's probably very frustrating to watch me play this for people that are good at it. Um, but, you know, I'll, I now... I, and I never really understood it, because I had... There was a point when I never had watched really any streams before of anybody, but now I have, and I've watched streams for- Fuck! I keep forgetting that! I've watched streams from uh, other people, and I know now how frustrating it can be, because if you're familiar with a game, um, like I'm familiar with like DuckTales, let's say, or Zelda 2, so if I see somebody stream like a game that I know well, and then they're not doing the best at it, then I'm sitting there like pulling my, you know, hair out. I'm like, how do you know not how to go into the mirror to get the magic of the spell? I mean, it's obvious, you know, because <laughs> it's like, because I played it eight million times, you know. So, I'm sorry to you guys who are like experts at Metal Storm. We're up to two now. Lurzy, subscribe. Thank you. See, the other problem with it is I won't, I wouldn't be able to keep track. Okay, here we go. Bop, and there we go. I know what it's like to have dry mouth. Rosie Perez, 1992. Oh, I got a question for you guys. So, for any of you guys who maybe used to watch, like, um, game shows, like old game shows, like Game Show Network and shit or whatever, there, I was trying to think of a game show today. Maybe you guys can help me out. It was called, or I don't know what, that's the question, what was it called? Um, I think it was on in the early 80s, and, like, I can't remember much of what happened to it, or what happened in the show, but it was, like, 
fucking... I should, like... Be, like, I should... Oh, my God. I, I need to, like, do one thing at a time. I should have paused and said that and then paid attention. Um... So, you would take, like, it's not fucking Plinko on Price is Right, by the way. You would take, you'd, they were sitting at a table, and there was little, um, holes in the table, and they would take round chips and put the chips into the table, and that's, like, all I can fucking remember. So, if that, if that's all I can remember from the fucking show. And, and it's from the early... It was like early, late seventies, early eighties. Does anybody have any idea? And I think I think the chips had like X's on them, like maybe X's and O's. Like maybe it was like a fucking tic tac toe or something. Like I don't know. So if anybody knows what that show was, or remembers it, or something like that, let me know, because that's all I remember. You don't remember? Yeah, that's I'm so. Scrabble had chips you put into it? Scrabble. Hold up. Now I need to know. I'm sorry I keep taking all these breaks, but I have to fucking know. That might be it. Oh my god. That's it. Oh my god, who said that? Thank you. Boon up. Bum number one. Bum number one. Thank you. That was the that's the show. Fucking Scrabble. You know you know what I was, I kept thinking to myself that it had the X's and O's on it, and I had looked for it before, and I was typing in like tic tac toe. Fucking Scrabble. That's what it is. Thank you. Fuck. Oh my god. Yeah, that's fine. Just tell me. Oh my god, Scrabble. Well, I know what I'll be doing after this stream. If you guys want to know what I what I do when I'm not streaming, I'm busy watching Scrabble. Actually, you know what I want to do? I want to watch Scrabble and I want to watch Pressure Luck and I want to watch Pictionary. Was Pictionary the one with Bert Con Con Convy, or is that a different game show? I think that's Pictionary. There's that one. What other fucking old game shows were there? Match game. Remote control. Sure. I used to watch remote control a little bit. Newlywed game was raunchy as fuck. I mean, making whoopee. <laughs> fuck. What well, doesn't matter because I lost the hit anyway. So whatever. It was always making whoopee. I was always waiting for that one episode where instead of making whoopee, it's gonna be like, I fuck my wife in her ass. But it never happened. I'm still waiting for that episode. Maybe now. Maybe now. But obviously it would be bleeped. You know, I'd have to bleep it. What was it like when you and your wife made Whoopi on Thursday night? Or whatever the fuck he'd say. That was every episode. And then the audience would be like, Oh my god, make it Whoopi! It was like outrageous. That, that's what was outrageous in 19... What show? I don't fucking know. 1980? Fuck. I like that show though. That was Chuck Woolery, was it not? I think that was Chuck Woolery. If I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure that was Chuck Woolery. And he did another show too. He, he didn't only host that. Something else he did. Couple shows. Son of a bitch. That was the last moment, though. <sighs> Lingo. 
Yeah, didn't he did that, right? I remember lingo, kind of. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, I know about the pattern, the board pattern in um whatever that was. God, I can't, I can't, I can't! I've done this level like a lot now. And it needs to stop. Just kill me. I'm getting really aggra aggravated with the stage now. <sighs> like, I can't fucking really figure out that part very well. I mean, I've done it a bunch, but... And they give it to you, like, right in the beginning. It's like a big fuck you. It's like, hey, here you go, this is what you need. Try making it to the end, asshole. And now I'm gonna die. Cool. That's fine. Kill me because. Am I excited for R Type Final 2 on PS4? Is that a real thing? Is there a new R Type? R Type Final on PS4? Wait, what? Hard type final two teaser one week ago. Are they gonna show fucking gameplay? There we go. No. Then they went back to some shitty cutscene. You know the fucking. Oh my god. Show fucking gameplay. What the fuck? It's like they didn't even show gameplay. Give me fucking gameplay. You know what's really fucking funny? <laughs> I typed in R-Type Final PS4 and one, two, three, four, five. The fifth thing that came up is R-Type Dimensions, Mike Matei. <laughs> but where the fuck is... I don't even see, like, a, there's PS2 fun. First Impressions R-Type Dimensions. That's R-Type Dimensions. I only see one thing of R-Type 2 Final from recently. Somebody tweeted at me, like, fucking, is there a gameplay trailer? I fucking hate that more than anything. When they release, they release these fucking, like, it happens all the time on Steam, by the way. They release the fucking game, and then it's just like, the whole thing's a fucking cutscene, and you have no idea what the fucking game is. It's the worst. You should only show fucking game. Don't show fucking cutscene shit. Unless it's one of those games that the whole game is a cutscene. If your game actually has gameplay, show the fucking gameplay so that you know what the fuck the game is. I hate that. I hate it so much. Oh my god. Oh, R-Type. Oh, I want to check out what the new R-Type's like. Oh, I wonder what that is. Fucking three minute cutscene of fucking nothing. Doesn't show any gameplay. Enough, enough! I have had enough of you!
game's great, by the way. I'm no good at it, but I really like it. Straight vodka, man. Water. I swear. I don't drink. This boss is a shit storm. It is a shit storm. I really thought I had. I wonder how many hits away I was. You heard that holler on Aaron's stream. Yeah, what is she streaming? Um, I don't even know what she's streaming. Let me check, actually. Because this boss is like making me a crazy person. Let's see, what is she streaming? I don't even know. She was doing that Yoshi thing, right? I'll wait and see. I, I, I go in and she, you know how many viewers she has? 69. 69. I'm so sorry. I hate myself. A lot. Metal Storm. More like Shit Storm. Sewer Shark. More like Shit Shark. Soul feast, more like soul feces. <laughs> Where's Gianna Michaels with Tony? Probably, probably doing a stream with Tony. Um, testing out Genesis is what she's doing. Wait, what game is this? Hang on, just let me see what game this is really. He can save her. We can save her. What is this game? It looks cool. One second. I'm also just taking a break for a second from this game because it's driving me crazy. Go back to the house. I don't know what this game is. There's a tree in the foreground. There's like a. Is that a noose? Are they saying what it is? I'm so sorry. I will be back to this in one second. I just want to know what this Genesis game is. There's like Grim Reapers and anybody know what it is? Oh, Wonder Boy and Monster Land. Thank you. Oh, that's cool. I'm sure she's doing that. That's what it is. All right. Sorry. I am back to doing this. Here we go. Wonder Boy and Monster Land. I streamed Wonder Boy Dragon's Trap, which people said was I guess similar to the one on Genesis? Master System? Something? I don't remember it. I haven't seen that cutscene though. That's interesting. I made it so far before, in a, minute, a few minutes ago. I really need that extra hit. I mean. It was really helpful to have that. It's like I was trying to... Dragon's Trap is the best.
you know one thing, if I stop fucking firing, which I just did, that's probably part of the problem I was having, because I was hitting that thing. Just like don't fire on that other part. I'm learning. Just walk. No, they're up, yeah. Sorry if you guys are tired of watching me do this level over and over, but... Okay. What? I hit the wrong button. What hardware am I playing this on? Looks clean. I'm playing this on an NES. This is on a Nintendo Entertainment System. Uh, released by Nintendo. 1985 in Japan. 1986 in the US. But in all seriousness, if you're really asking, it is a um, RGB modded um, top loader NES. For the non-sarcastic answer. For the non-shitty answer. You people that hate the beeping probably just want to die watching this fucking shit over and over.
what's after this. <sighs> I get your mo money's worth out of this game? Yeah. No, really. If I would have had this one growing up, for one thing, I would have really liked it. And, and also, yeah, I would have got my money's worth. I don't know. I like. I feel like back then, even if I had this, I probably wouldn't have. Probably wouldn't have gotten very far as a. Fuck. As a fuck. As a kid, to play in this. Might not get much further right now. Looks like. Notice how I haven't said anything in like five, fucking five minutes. I can't eat supper until you beat this boss. It's just like now I'm just like... It's like when it gets down to business. Taking care of business. That's what I'm doing. speak they would say fuck so that's exactly what they would say that's exactly Not gonna be a bull. <sighs> All right, 
I'm gonna take a break from that. So, I think I'm partially a liar because I said that. So I got some driving games. Um, now I forget. Somebody said Se Sega was it Sega Rally was the driving game. So here's the ones I got. I did get. Um, I got uh, uh, Daytona. I did get Daytona, and it's Championship Circuit Edition. I don't know if that's different than like regular. Um, so I got that one, and then I got Manx TT Superbike. So those are the ones I got. I don't know if those are any good, but I mean, if anybody knows any good, like, um, Sega Saturn, like, driving stuff, like, let me know. Get the P power up, a wider and slightly stronger beam that can go through walls if you're quick with the gravity. You can get it just before the boss. Oh, that thing. You know what? I keep forgetting about that. I tried to get it once and then I died and then I haven't been getting it. Thank you. Um, uh, bum number one. Um, so anyway, this is the Saturn steering wheel. So I don't know exactly how I'm going to... I'll have to move this t table up and then... Okay. I'm probably going to wait until I get a couple more driving games, but eventually... Eventually we'll do that at some point. So I want to do that. Um... But then, so I, I also picked up Duke Nukem 3D, and um, so I want to play that. I don't know if this version's any good. Anybody know if Duke Nukem 3D, if this version's any good? Uh, okay, I have no idea. So, Because I, I haven't streamed anything Duke Nukem, and I want to do that. See, it's like, you stream like every day, and I can't fucking keep up with it. There's so many, isn't it amazing how many fucking video games there are? Rally racing. All right. So many things. Um. One last thing. H have any of you guys played? Since we're talking about The Simpsons, I'll take this out. Since not as Larry. Is this basically? Is this game any good? Uh, I haven't. I I'm mostly familiar with like Simpsons Arcade and Simpsons Bart versus the Space Mutants. Those are the Simpsons games that I really played. How's this game? It's not. Okay, so this game's bad. Oh, okay. Everybody says this game sucks. Okay. Okay. So never mind. I have that. What's another good, you know, what's another good Simpsons game? Um, is there anything else in The Simpsons that's good? Because I want to play, like, some Simpsons. Not the arcade game, because I, I, I've done that. Like, what else is good? Not, not, the, not the arcade. And then the first answer I got was the arcade. <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. You know, I played Krusty's Funhouse. I remember not really liking it, but I should try it again. Maybe. You, you know what? Isn't fuck the Krusty game? Isn't that the one that has the slide puzzles? You know what? That might be, um... What's it called? The other NES one. How's Radioactive Man? Bart in Radioactive Man? The, uh, the, that NES? There's three NES games there, Simpsons. The Beanstalk one. Oh, the Game Boy stuff. You know, I didn't think of the Game Boy stuff. Did I think I streamed one of those. The Camp one once. Isn't it on Game Gear, too? A lot of Simpsons games, huh? Fuck the Krusty game? Yeah, I remember... I didn't really like the Krusty game. Hit Simpsons Hit and Run. Hit and Run. Was that on PlayStation? No. That, is that Dreamcast? What is that on? That's on... Wait, that might be PS2. Is that PS2? Watching play and stuff says PS2. No, wait, they're saying GameCube. Is it on more than one thing? PS2 and GameCube. Okay. Yeah. I think I played it. You know what? I might own it. I think I have it, actually. Mm 
Radioactive Man is the worst one on NES? Okay, we'll forget that one then. Bart's Nightmare is not good, apparently. Bart, Bart's Nightmare is worth a try, lots of raging, but... So, it's like not... It's not good, though. SNES version of Krusty's Funhouse is the best. Oh, the Super Nintendo Krusty's Funhouse. See, I remember... Isn't there Krusty's Funhouse on NES? Because I played that one. I, have, I don't think I've played the Super Nintendo one. Maybe that's the difference. So, it, so really, is that it for Simpsons game? Virtual Bart? Virtual Is, uh, is Virtual Bart any good? Krusty's Funhouse in... On NES and Master System. Yeah. Yeah, it is. See, yeah, it is on NES. So I played the NES one. It's the same, just 16 bit graphics. Alright, well then. Alright, I feel like I'm probably the most interested in trying the Virtual Bart. Oh, wait, now Super Reinhorn says Virtual Bart is super awful. Okay, so now I have somebody else telling me that one's awful. So, so I guess the only one people are saying is hit and run. Virtual Bart is better than Bart's Nightmare, though. But that that doesn't okay. So you know what? Maybe the maybe the handheld stuff. Maybe like the Game Boy games. Then I don't know. All right. Anyway, let me do this. I'm playing Metal Storm. If you're just joining, God, fuck my life. Here we go. So I'm now considering, so, oh, I, by the way, so we just shot another batch of James on Mike Mondays, and should I give away, I've never done it, should I give away one of the episodes? I never do that. Hmm. Ooh. You know what, I'm gonna let him kill me because, um, I, I want to have, like, the weapons and shit. No mic make us wait. Only if we've been good. No, don't do it. Okay, people are saying don't do it. Alright. Well. Anyway, so the point is, I just, um... We just filmed some more games on Mike Mondays. I, I feel like we filmed a really good batch of episodes that you guys are gonna like. And that's why I kind of was, like, almost wanting to tell you. But, um... I guess I won't say anything. But there, there, there was one in particular that we did that I, I think is gonna be a really good one. But I won't say anything. You don't wanna know. Anyway, the the reason I was thinking about James and Mike Mondays though is because, um. I was thinking about maybe, um, like maybe this game for Chainsaw Mike Mondays? We'll see. See, the thing is, this is like a harder game, and we get, so, we used to be able to record for like hours and hours and hours to do that, but now it's like we get about maybe five hours or something to record. Maybe a little longer, like five and a half hours, sometimes six now for Lucky, but it's like, so we basically only get about an hour, maybe like an hour and 20 minutes or something, because then we got to set up the games in between and stuff. So we probably get like an hour, a little over an hour to record one game, and then we have to record four for a month. So, and actually last time we recorded the other day, we, we did five episodes, and we usually only record four. So, um... So we did more than we did a little more than usual. Anyway, so f what I'm thinking for this game, I'd love to do this for James and Mike Monday, but like you can see, I've already been playing this for almost three hours, so that's the problem. Because like we can't, because it's like I don't know. Like I'd like to play it. I don't know. I don't know. I'd like to though. Fabulous Wig says James would hate this. Um, I don't think, no, I don't think he would. I don't, I don't know, maybe he would. You know what, he might. I don't know, I mean, I'm not sure. Actually, that's a, maybe he would. <sighs> Damn it. 
Well, I got the power up. I don't. Eh, I don't know. I don't think he would hate it. I think he. I think he would like it. Honestly, I'm not sure. Maybe he wouldn't like it. I feel like he would like it. I mean, this is a good fucking game. I could have got that. I like that there's passwords. Uh, so here's here's what the deal is. I think there's two levels left. Um, I love that this has passwords because I can come back to it. I'm not stopping it. Um, but what I am going to do, I'm going to try this level. And if it turns into something that I'm having a hard time with, um, I'll come back to it because there's a password. So that's what we'll do. Also, you know, I just wonder, um, real quick. Um, so people were talking about that there's second loops with this game. Uh, if I wanted to try that, I guess in the like I guess there would be a password for the second loops. Like let's say I got to the third stage in in like doing loop two, there would be a different password that where you're into loop two, right? Or does the game not work like that? So Mad Stalker, do you know? Because he's done it. Do you know like would the, would the password work for the loop two if I got there? Because it might. Because if that's a lot harder, it might take me a really long time to get through those levels if I decided to do it. You know. Anyway, I'm gonna try this. Oh, boy! I figured this one out. Um. Oh, okay. This is gonna take me some... Oh, well, I don't know about that turbo graphics, but it might be. It is right now. This is, like, the first time I've really played this, but so we'll say. You might be right. I don't know. Oh, you fucker. It's just like gone now? Oh, fuck that. Thank you, Sufa28. What's that, Private Ogeth? I don't even know what you're saying. Back to the Future 1931? You know what? I want to see something. This might, I don't know if this is going to kill me, but... Okay, now I know that. You can go through the bottom. Alright, that's one learning thing. What year is this anyway? I think it's 2019. But I'm not entirely sure. I think that's the year right now. Fuck me. Do, 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 do. I like all that old Simpsons shit, though. It's like, you know, that's the era of Simpsons that I, you know, was really into. Any of you guys have any, like, vintage Simpsons stuff at all? Hey, I tell you what, if any of you guys got any vintage, like, um, Simpsons stuff, take a picture and send me a tweet, because I love that stuff and I'd like to see. Honestly. If you happen to have anything. Huh? 
you know, like the old, like the early '90s stuff. Shit. Mm-hmm. You had a Bart Simpson telephone. That's cool. I have a Ronald McDonald telephone because I'm an ass. At one point, I had a what's his name from fucking um. The Jolly Green Giants kid, Sprout. I have a Sprout telephone. <laughs> so that's something everybody needs, I think. A Jolly Green Giants kid tele... His son. A Jolly Green Giants son. A telephone of that. If, that's, if that isn't a waste of plastic, I don't know what is. But I bought it. Mm-hmm. Hit a seven up spot phone. I had the seven up spot NES game as a kid. And when I was a kid, I really liked that game a lot. And I played it recently and I couldn't like fucking stand it. And I don't know what happened. But like how, how is it that I liked that game a lot when I was a kid, but now I fucking hate it? Does that game suck? Was I right as a kid? And I'm talking about the NES one, by the way. Does that game suck? Or, like, or is that a good game? I want to know if I was right as a kid or if I'm right now. I hope that I'm right now. <laughs> I want to see what the chat thinks. Is that is that game terrible? Or is it good? <sighs> so wait, so Jax579 says yes, it's terrible. I didn't care for it. Okay. And another guy says it's average. Okay, so apparently it's not too good. Alright, well that makes me feel a little better. Maybe I was just stupid as a kid. Probably. Definitely. Fuck! I might have to come back to this with the password. I'm gonna not quit yet, though. This is a very addicting game, by the way. Very addicting. Like, I feel like I'm gonna have to do this just because, like, eventually, just because, like, I don't know, I really like it. If you don't have this game, I'm gonna recommend right now. Well, here's the problem. This game's rare and expensive, so I don't know that I can, I don't know how, like, that I can really recommend it. Why isn't this game on the NES Classic? The fuck? This should be on there. Like, fuck that. Fuck that list of games, by the way. I mean, you know, well, there's there's a lot of good ones on there, but, like, come on. Bunch of bullshit. Where the, by the way, where the fuck is RC Pro-Am on that fucking list? Fuck that list. Shit! I would totally get a repro card of this. There you go, Nero. I guess that's what you gotta do. So yeah, so I mean, I have a few repros. Um, um, usually, I try to get like the original games, but like, um, there's one. See, like, you know, Rekka, that game. I'd like to get that game, but it's really expensive, so I, I have a repro of that. But um, I, I, I tip. I would. I like to get the originals, ideally, but you know, sometimes if a game is like expensive or whatever, then. But the good thing is, like, a lot of games, I like I was talking about earlier, I was able to get when they weren't as expensive, so I'm, I'm lucky, 
that I'm old, I guess. Not that lucky that I'm old, but... So I was able to get a lot of game, retro games, because I got them when they were more affordable. Um, shit. But, um, hold up here. Ooh, okay. There we go. Um, but yeah, I mean, I have a few, I, have, I do have a few repros, for sure. And I think I even streamed, um, that Rekka. Uh, you know what, I, I played it for like a minute, I think. I didn't really actually, like, stream it, for real. But I'd, li I'd like to do that. Like, do, like, a full stream of it, I mean. Not just, like, trying it out. Oh, what am I going to do? I, I didn't... Fuck. This is like some... What's it called? Castlevania uh, Bloodlines. Shit. Castlevania Bloodlines shit. You guys know what I'm talking about, right? Fuck. With that level near the end. Oh boy, oh boy. You know what sucks? This is a level that I'm not gonna like that there's a time limit, actually. Because this is gonna fuck. This is gonna fuck. This is gonna take me time to... Oh my god, oh my god. Yeah, I'm probably gonna have to come... This is gonna take me too long to figure out right now. How long is this? Three hours? Alright, I'll try this a few more times. And then I'll, I, I'll come back to it or something with the password later. Um, but yeah, if you can somehow find a copy of this game. Or play it, however you guys play it on your Raspberry Pis or whatever whatever you do, whatever method. It's, uh, it's worth playing. However you like it. However you can find a way to play it. I, I'd say it's a worthwhile game, for sure. That's all I'm saying. Hmm. Hmm. I know what to do. I know what to do. Um. Hmm. Damn, man. All right, I'm gonna get one, one more, one more. There's a one more. Shit. Oh, I don't have the thing to go through the fuck. Oh my god. Wait, where did I even... Where did I find that fucking thing earlier? Hmm. I don't even know where that weapon was. What? Did I miss it? Shit. How did... Where did I get that weapon before? I meant to- oh, I had to go upside down there. Holy shit, this is like fucking brain teaser. Oh my god. Like, that's not it. Where- where is that weapon? Does anybody know where that weapon was that I had? This stage took me an eternity until I had it all figured out. Really? See, he's saying he beat Loop 2. 
So there's somebody in here that's beaten Luke 2, Mad Stalker, and he said that this stage is like a bitch, so yeah. So I might have to save this. I don't get where the fucking I had another weapon and now I don't, so I don't understand what I did wrong here. This gravity suit is too much for my crazy brain. Cra too crazy for my brain. Alright, I where's the fucking spread? Yeah. I know, I, I said it was the last, but it's like, I don't get it. <sighs> see, I had a, so I had a weapon before. I was fucking crazy that I could shoot the root, see? Remember, I, I was shooting these before. What happened to the weapon? Like, I, I can't, I don't understand. I don't know what A does. Thank you, Zemon5. Yeah, I appreciate that. Some some weapons drop. Some weapon drops are random. Oh, is that what happened? Really? Well, I didn't know that! Shit! Man. Did I come from 6-1 with a power-up? Maybe? Maybe that was it. Or maybe it's like... I don't fucking even, I don't even know. Maybe I have no idea. Maybe that's what. Bitch ass thing. <laughs> you fuckers. That <laughs> just like. I don't even know. Jesus Christ. I don't know. Alright. Alright. It's just like craziness. I'm gonna stop there. <laughs> I'm gonna get the. Wait a second. Where's the password? If I hit end here. See, well, I already got the pa Never mind, I have the password. Right? I have the password. I have it right here. Um, Alright, I'll come back to this later. I like this game a lot. Like I said, play it. It's really good. 